All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this unboxing of the Rabbit Air Filter Unit A2 minus A2 Ultra Quiet Air Purifier. Um, I bought this because I'm a cigar smoker and I needed something to filter the air in my office, aka my garage. This is a 250 square foot space. This is supposed to filter 725 or 750 square feet. So it is overkill more than I need for this space. I probably bought an air filter that was too much for what I needed it to do. But I looked at all the reviews and it has excellent reviews for not only picking up cigar smoke, but for a lot of other allerg allergens. Um, cigar smoke is less than 0.3 microns in terms of size. And this is supposed to pick that up as well. So I definitely needed to find a filter that was able to filter out things as small as cigar smoke. Now this isn't, this isn't unboxing. This is not a review. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you my opinion on uh, the air filter because I haven't tried it yet. I'm only going to show you what's in the box so that if you too are interested in purchasing one, uh, you're going to know what to expect. Now, uh, there are a number of different filters that come with the Rabbit Air minus A2. Um, I chose the one that's an odor remover, an odor filter, uh, because my wife frequently complains about the cigar smell. That said, I personally think that a lot of that is just marketing gimmicks. How much better a, an odor remover filter is at actually removing odors than the other options including germ defense, pet allergy, and toxin absorber, uh, I, I don't know. It probably does very, uh, very similar. In fact, when I was doing my research, I found other competing air filters that just came with one type of filter which said that it would do all of the things that these different filters do. Uh, this is also a more expensive unit and the filters are more expensive to replace. So it's not for the, the light of budget. But that said, it's supposed to be the best for what I need and that's reducing cigar smoke. So let's unbox this thing and see exactly what comes in it. It's a lot larger than I thought it would be. The photos online showed a fairly slim, nice, attractive, box. Um, so I was actually fairly surprised when I picked up this her hulking mammoth of a filter. All right, we're going to have to take drastic measures here and use multiple chairs. Wow. This is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. Seems to be packaged fairly well. And it's heavy. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. There's a filter. There's the box. And this is the unit. I mean, I'm a large guy, and this is large compared to my body size. So if you're a, you know, 125 pound fella, you're, you're, you're basically buying the blocks that were used to build the pyramid here. The Great Pyramid of Giza. All right. It comes with a nice quick start guide, which I'm sure is gonna come in handy. And it's got one of those annoying little cellophane things. Oh, this is on the outside. Okay, this is on the outside. All right, so this is what everyone is used to seeing when they look at the photos on Amazon. Well, what they're not used to seeing is this. It's, it's a fairly sturdy, thick, robust, wide air filter. I don't know exactly how heavy it is. But there we go. It is attractive. Um, one of the reasons I got it was for its aesthetic appeal. Many of the air filters that I've seen, including the HEPA 
air filters that, that you can normally get at Target or Fred Meyer are round and they've got big old filters that are like this thick and they make a lot of noise. This, I was told this is going to be fairly quiet, especially on the lowest setting. And um, this then is the filter. Hello, I'm an odor remover customized filter. This is my front. I feel like I'm reading a children's story. Please remove plastic wrapping before operating the unit. Big boys poop in big toilets. Oh, yeah, no. I go into the filter case second. You know what's bad? <laughs> when the manufacturers write instructions in the first person as if the filter has a personality. I go into the filter case second. All right, I'm done. Um, but it, it gets the point across. I know exactly what to do. And here's the quick start guide. Let's begin. These guys are excited. Your customized filter will be packaged in a plastic outside of the unit. In plastic outside the unit. Set aside the filter for step six. Okay, so we have a lot of steps before we get to actually installing the, the, the air filter. And they do a fly apart explosion of the filter to show you all of the different pieces that are in it. Know your customized filter. All right, so for my, okay, they, the, I didn't get the toxin absorber, which apparently is purple and black. I got the odor remover, which is just black. All right. Step one, remove the front panel by lifting the, from the bottom and pulling up. Okay, fairly simple, very attractive front panel. Let's set this over here. Step two, remove the filter case by grasping the handles on either side and pulling forward. Lay the filter case on a flat surface. And it's taped in here, presumably for to aid in transport. Oh, all the way down here too. Okay. And this we lie on a flat surface. That'll do. Pull the tabs on the front of the pre-filter to remove it. All right. A little bit more to this than I had hoped. Remove the white medium filter from the back, from the black frame to discard the plastic wrapping. Return the filter to its frame. All right, there's a four-part process. It's giving me arrows and everything. This is like putting together IKEA furniture. So, all right, that goes up, that goes off, that goes out. Hello, I am the medium filter. This is my front. Oh my gosh, that is infuriating. Please remove plastic wrapping before operating the unit. I go into the filter case fourth. Well, I mean, is this basically just telling me to take out all of the, take these things out of the plastic? I mean, I can do that. I don't need. Okay. Gosh, this goes all the way down. It's like uncovering buried treasure. Layer upon layer upon layer. Okay, so there you have it. That's the entire insides. It's just filter after filter after filter, uh, which is great. I hope it really catches smoke. Hello, I am an activated carbon filter. This is my front. Please remove plastic wrapping before operating the unit. I go 
into the filter case first. All right. O filter with a personality. Let's take off the cling wrap. This is not a, a simple envelope of plastic. This is pretty... Oh, you can actually see the pieces of carbon floating around. I hope you can hear that. Watch me split it in half. There are pieces of carbon just sort of clinking around on there. This is the front. Okay. And then this. Put it back down. Or was it the other way? Probably should be. Uh... Four, remove the white medium filter from the black frame to discard the plastic wrapping, return the filter to its frame. Remove the HEPA filter and discard the plastic. Remove the empty customized filter frame from the case. Locate the custom filter set aside from earlier. Remove it from its plastic wrapping. Insert the filter into its frame. Got you. This is the custom filter frame. Understood. All right, that's, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering because that has an opening in it. So, here's our filter. This, I take it, is why it doesn't just work out, out of the box. You have to set up a little bit because this is... Uh, Because you can customize your rabbit purchase with the type of filter that you buy, however good that does you, I'm an odor removing. I go into the filter case first. All right, now remember that article that we read that talked about the different layers? Front color black, thicker fabric black material. Back color black. Why would they make both? Okay, this is a little thicker and denser. This side is a little more porous. So, thicker fabric-like material is the front color. Okay, so we put that facing front. And then we slip it into here, these little tabs right here, we have to sort of gingerly insert it while not ripping it. Bollocks. Okay. Here we go. Come on now. Oh, filter with a personality. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. It's got a little bit of a poof. But all sides are in. Hopefully in the right area. Remove the empty customized filter frame from the case. Locate the customized filter set aside from earlier and remove it from its plastic wrapping. Insert the filter into its frame. Make sure the front of the filter is facing up. See the customized filter chart below to identify the, identify the front of your filter. Thank God I did it wrong. Actually, it shouldn't matter because it's two-way, so... But you know, uh, the plastic needs to be a barrier. So, pardon the interruption, ladies and gentlemen, while I go through what all of you would be going through anyway after you buy this thing. I mean, we're all gonna have to sit here and figure it out, unless of course you're better at reading directions than I, which could very well be the case. So the thicker, more dense weave faces up. And I'm assuming up is the side 
that has the actual plastic guard on it because, um, and I'm also just assuming, that guide is going to be in direct contact with the next filter. Uh, and it's probably best if there was a little bit of a uh, guard in between each filter so it's not just filter on filter. Oh, and that actually fits a lot better. There's no poof. Okay. So, uh, this is now the front, and this goes up like that. Or up right like that. Okay. Step three. Return the filters to the filter case in the following order from back to front, activated carbon filter. Charcoal-based activated carbon filter, customized filter, BioGS HEPA filter, which is this one, the medium filter, which is that one, the pre-filter, which is that one, and then the case. So that makes perfect sense. This is the HEPA filter. Please remove the plastic wrapping. I go in third. Thank you for letting me know. And this one actually does work like an envelope, which is good. I don't have to bruise my teeth on plastic. And it hopefully says front right there with an arrow. And I'm assuming it doesn't really matter which side is up or down. Then there's this. We have to take this out and remove it from its plastic wrapping. Does it matter which way it goes in after that? Doesn't say anything about that. This is the this is the medium filter. Flat surface, flat surface, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's take this piece. Oh, and this is much easier to take out. This is a pre-filter. It's a little bit more flimsy. And yet it's not a handy sleeve, so back to the teeth. Okay. And this one, gratefully, has little notches carved in it so that you don't put it in the wrong way. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter which way you put it in it because the notches are... There we go. So there are notches in the middle of each side, and there are also corner notches that uh, accommodate for little flanges. That thing is going to fall at any minute. So there is only one way to put this in. Okay. But I think we've done it. And this does go in like so. Because the photo does show this grid facing up. And because of those flanges, it fits in like a jigsaw puzzle, just like that. Yeah, that's nice. OK, then the pre-filter, which, if you recall, has these little tabs on the outside for easy removal. done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've managed to install a rabbit air filter designed to remove odors. And now the front. Reattach the front panel by latching the top hooks, then securing the bottom of the panel. Is 
pieces of things. I'll figure out as I go along. Okay, where are the top hooks? I need some sort of indication. Okay, so it does go in like this, which means those are the front hooks. Okay, set that there. Which means this goes in like this. some little thing which already has dust on it goes in like this looks like it's magnetic oh okay so you go in from the top because there's a hinge oh look at that all right, so there's a hinge up here, and then magnets down here. You just plop it on the hinge, and it swings down, and you're done. Filter reset. The replace filters indicator will become illuminated when it is time to change your filters. Once you have replaced the filters, press and hold the mode slash filter reset button for three seconds, or until the replace filters indicator clears itself. All right, this is the invoice which means that we should be able to plug this sucker in. If I can find an outlet. All right, so taped to the back of this is our, the remote and what is apparently the instruction manual. Ultra quiet air purifier. Hello. Ah, and then there's the remote. And it comes with batteries. So you don't have to have batteries, that's good. Almost done. Just take a look at how much is left in this YouTube video to see exactly how far I am away from either victory or complete failure. The fact that I am struggling with a couple of AAA batteries might lead you to guess which direction that is going in. All right, here we go. Batteries better be included for the ridiculous price I spent on this blasted contraption. I, don't worry, I'm not going to read this entire thing. It's got a lot of information. This is not intuitive. So, we have a nice extra long power cord which we are going to unravel. Let's back around so that once I get it going, you can see. Then, it's all about finding a power switch. I think I've got one over here. Although now it's covered in wrappers from when I unwrapped this. Okay, one second here, ladies and gentlemen. Apologize for the close-up on my arm. Although it is a nice arm, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Okay. All right. So it needs directions from its human overlord to work. 
power. Ooh. Oh, wow. Can you hear that? I can hear it. It's not entirely silent. Okay, it's getting louder. All right, what were the directions to uh, reset the filter? Once you have replaced the filters, press and hold the mode slash filter reset button for three seconds. Were those seconds fast? Or until the re replace filters indicator clears itself? Oh, the replace filters light is not on. All right, so let me show you. I don't know if you can see. All right. Here we go. This light is currently red. I know it doesn't look red, but it is red. This means that my air is filthy, and it automatically turns on when the air needs to be cleaned. Uh, it shows the high mode. So right now, this noise that you're hearing is what it sounds like on high, not low as I originally thought. So let's change the speed to silent. There's a vent here, and I can feel the air coming out of this vent. It's really moving slowly. But it is moving. Now, the instructions I read said that there's really never a need to let something like this run for longer than an hour, because especially in uh, a room that's smaller than 750 square feet, it's supposed to cycle all of the air through the filter um, within at least an hour. So there's no need to let it go on 24 hours a day. Uh, but if you wanted to anyway, there's a silent mode, which is pretty silent. This is low. Okay. Barely hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can barely hear it. Let's try medium. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can definitely hear it now. It's still really quiet. I probably wouldn't notice it unless I was thinking about it. Back to high. And that's pretty loud. Let's try turbo. Alright, that's turbo mode. It's like a jet engine. It's going faster and faster. Can you guys hear it? This is the loudest it could ever get. I can feel myself speaking louder because it's so loud. Let's go to medium. Okay. Now there are a couple of modes. Auto, pollen, is that it? Auto mode and pollen mode. That's it, you can choose between the two modes, auto or pollen. I'm gonna put it on auto. And then mood light. Ooh, we've got ourselves a mood light, ladies and gentlemen. It's blue. I wonder what that says about this machine's mood. All right, so there's only one option for the mood light, blue. That means that it's either cool and calm and collected or sad. I'm blue, da ba -dee. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but the air quality indicator just changed. It went from red to purple. 
Can you detect? Probably can't. Set that down. Which means that the thing must have been working, I guess. The air is apparently cleaner than it was. All right, well, uh, I think that's about it. And apparently there's a negative ion indica uh, indicator. A anyway, I'm not going to go through all of that. This is only an unboxing. We've gone and uh, achieved exactly what we designed to set out to do with this. So if you are planning to buy the Rabbit Air A2, for whatever reason, you just uh, have a lot of allergies, you want to remove pollen, or you live under an overpass and there's constantly dust and exhaust fumes entering your home, or you're a smoker like myself who is about to ignite a beautiful cigar like one of the ones you'll find in here, then this is what you should be able to expect out of the box. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and if you found it useful, let me know in the comments, and I'll consider doing others in the near future. Until then, this is your neighborhood-friendly Oxhorn bidding you adieu.